Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars in late 2019. I'm the Fusilier. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I forget if I managed to say that yesterday, but yeah, all my American viewers or anyone who celebrates it outside of America, because I mean, like, Christmas just sort of spread around the world and has become like a cultural thing. I wouldn't like these guys to die. And I'm thinking they maybe might. They must have a command ship somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to designate this fleet as the one that takes Vanguard. Even though it has some um, older ships. They no longer own the planet. So we I think we'll be in that thing where we sort of have a crossing action instead of running up to them. Not that it will matter terribly much to the plan. Uh, that'll wind up with a tanker there. I don't know. That's fine. These guys are mostly Mark Threes. I'm more okay with them getting hit. These guys will form reinforcements. And... Maybe not so much of them that are, like, badly hurt. Wish I could sort by... There we go. That's a little brutal. Maybe something like this instead, perhaps. I mean, point defense is good. So, like... Maybe, maybe I'll do this one. I'll decide. I'll sort of work out everything and then really we'll hit the turn because I don't have much else to do. We got research set. We got... They don't have much industrial output here, but they have plenty of industry back here, it looks like. Um, yep. Wow. Quite a bit. We will build as you command, Falcona. That sounds good to me. Yep. And that should be fine, honestly. I'll leave the home world to actually be making money. Because you gotta make the money. And I'll work everything out, and then we'll proceed to the battle, guys. I get the feeling it's not exactly gonna be the most difficult battle in the universe. But you never know. All right, we back. First off, departing now, Varcona. I'm gonna make sure I get that done. Cause we got some boys here. Um, and as for ships, I am gonna take the undamaged one in the vanguard. The other ones will form uh, reinforcements. It will involve a tanker getting in the fray, which is not optimal, but we should be fine. Let me check three turns. That repair and salvage technology can't come quick enough. After that, I think I'm just going to go to the fucking world and kill them. I do believe that is the plan. Man, that's a lot of ships. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to admit, I want to... I want to watch that. The problem is... Okay, look. I don't know what the auto battle is going to do, but I have been bit before, so even though I want to observe this, because I'm kind of curious what's going to happen. Um, we're just going to do this, and we're going to get them. It's interesting. It looks like the Hivers only had one turn to react, and that was their gate capacity. That's my guess from having played them. I'm kind of a Hiver expert now. Whatever, they gotta manage on their own. I can't be worried about the one hard AI. Honestly, we haven't been... I think we're doing well so far, and it's not because the AI is set to hard. It's because we are... hard. You know, I didn't think that one through. That's what I call a pause. Yep. We're gonna come from the side. Obtain them. Get them. Get in there. Lord of mercy. They're gonna realize that running away. 
weighing exactly their options. Oh! Yeah, well that answers my question of if rip bores are tankers. In fact, chase after these guys. Hit these gutter swine and pass them. Don't even permit them to slow us down. We got, I want absolute kill. I don't want a fucking thing left in this planet. Especially not no colonizers. Let them out of your sight, boys. Full pursuit. Terribly professional, but yes. what a mess. I love it. Concentrate on the rip board, boys. Those are expensive. I know from playing just a little bit of Zool how goddamn expensive they are. Maybe we shouldn't be right next to it. Yeah, veer off a little bit, guys. Oh, I'm God. I'm just God right now. The Zul are not used to this sort of situation. They want peace, do they? We will grant them peace. The peace of death. Ah, oh, that's good. Hey, uh, guys, try not to snipe each other. We are the true apex predators. The only danger to us is from each other. Oh, that's good. Updates. That's good, mate. It is worth noting, Hivers have an advantage in auto battle, as I said before, because their numbers are big. Because they thick, boy. Okay, we got enemies coming in here. But it was only a uh, Ripbore fleet, I remember that. That's good. Your word is law, Vakona. Let's get some reinforcements up in here. Two turns. That's fine, and we got cruisers coming out every fucking orifice. That's another metaphor I didn't think through before I finished saying it. Most unfortunate. How we doing over here, guys? Any case, Scaramucci's about to be our Anthony. Sc Where's our okay? Colonizers are going here. Do I need another colony fleet for these nerds? I'm thinking I do. All right, guys, form up. The gate will be here about the time the war's over. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not bitter. Actually, I'm not right now. I'm having the time of my goddamn life on these. Well, this pretty much establishes that industrial output does not affect the income, considering the income of these planets is roughly equivalent. Or at least it doesn't have a major effect. I mean, your budget goes into stuff, and... But it seems like population's the big one, which is why you want to have a big population, is they give you the money. I need, you know, biome colonizers. Like I said, they're a they're they're a nice to have. All this other stuff is a the monsters won't kill us. Shipyards at your disposal, Bakona. Which I rate um, higher. Everyone, just form up and chill out. System update. Yeah, they didn't like that. Ver it was simpler than we thought, my supreme. Now, I've seen the humans get to a place and then start running around the gate network. The only issue is the Hivers now have two turns to shift, like, a hundred ships over here. Which is what they're gonna do. That's what they're gonna do. Okie dokie. We're getting our stuff on. Asteroid mining is really good, but I just never take it because I'm just like, no. I just always have other stuff to do. After I just shit talked biotransfer, that may be my move. I mean, we need better missiles. Or fusion. Fusion's looking real nice right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of things that would be. Let's. 
We've delayed. We have been given the necessary sum, Varkona. I don't like to delay, and I am burning through savings, so I think that's the move. It's very simple to make a repair ship. Parent salvage, pulsed fission. We're not going to give it polysilicate. God, that's cool. All these moving parts on the ships, and this game is old as fuck. But it's still got it where it counts, baby. Just give it some point defense batteries, some missile launchers, and uh, that's looking good. Yes, Vakona. Ship design ready for construction. Nice. Hey guys, uh, let me reorient myself. What I'd like right now is a repair and salvage quick as you can. Yes, Vakona. We'll have the ships out in no time. And I gotta say, next turn, that's pretty fast. And we can get here without a tanker because it's within nine, so I can just send the colonizers. Just going. That's that. Pulse fission, I'd go so far as to say pulse fission and recombinant fissionables are absolute necessities. Simple bare necessities. Hey guys. How's it going? System update. It's going good? Yeah, it's going good for me too. It's going fantastic for me. Uh, yeah. I was going to think about telling the Hivers to defend that place. Uh, not necessary. 53. I mean, the humans, they swarm you. And they're relatively fast. Even if an absolute turns, they're really fucking. Alright, here's where we got the assault shuttles, and uh, here we go. Time to blow the budget. The Empire has conquered. Another pearl in your crown, Farcona. Yes. Yes, indeed. Good. I'm gonna leave four here. And the rest of y'all can't go anywhere. Fuck it, another refinery. Shipyards at your disposal, Vakona. We'll use them. We won't just let them sit there this time. I swear to God, I know how to play this game, guys. Against the Armada moves most as one. You know what? As commenters pointed out, we did pretty fucking well in that human game. We fought four hard AIs to almost a standstill, killed one of them outright, with our allies contributing. Notably little, just because they were all rushed out and they just didn't have any fun, and they died. Cartographer, chart the path. They died in a tornado. All right, we're gonna gather our stuff here, and then I'm thinking straight onto this planet. I don't think there'll be any reason to delay. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, what's up? System How you update. doing? They didn't even get almost anything off because... Long-range weapons, man. The simulation basically just said, yeah, you don't get close. Uh, where was I gonna... I could take these worlds, but they're... Fucking painful. Departing now, Varcona. Good. Okay, um we need Those guard ships are pointless if the Von Newmans actually come. Like they will have they will serve no function in terms of guarding stuff. So I'm gonna build more destroyers and sort of just spread them out amongst the rabble. The yes, Vakona. We'll have the ships no, out you know in no. no time. No. No more tankers. Read my lips. No new tankers. We will move at full speed. I'm gonna send the tanker that's not. Your word is law, Vakona. You already made me build a refinery here. 
I'm thinking we just go there. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. If this turns out to be a very poor idea, we can uh, get hyperlink communications and divert them. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Gonna find out for long. More and more ships coming in. That's the good stuff. I might like a second uh, repair ship. All right, we're going to Anthony Scaramucci to colonize him. Don't ask me how you colonize a person like individually. Ah, uh, I mean they know, but I think I'm gonna tell them. Anyhow, if you don't know, now you know. Defend Co Coco. I mean they know, but it would be nice for them to just. You know, get some of those ships over there, just to generate a, a true superiority. We're going to repair our boys, and then we're going to move on. They can't do anything to our ships, essentially. Let's see, DE fission, nuclear warheads, yeah. Hivers are on cruiser fission, some of those will be cruisers. We check that. Yeah, I'm seeing cruisers on the field. Now, it's probably just some support cruisers for now, but, uh... see two cruisers 11 yeah the hivers are officially in the actual cruiser age and so are we and the enemies don't appear to be I'm fine with that what you got guys all right we're not doing anything so we're gonna go laugh at the humans it might have been smarter to just to simulate it so that the hivers would lose less. But I want to show. Amuse me, computer. Plus, you know, I think we need to take our time with this one or it's not going to last. It is weird seeing humans on the other side of that loading screen. Sensor operator. Is this the running joke? That the Tarkas don't have, like, sensor operators that know what they're doing. See, what's gonna happen here, and I know what's gonna happen, because it happens in every motherfucking battle with anyone when you're the Hivers, is the enemy is gonna rush right in. They're gonna come in close. They're gonna run right to the gate. Because these guys are running forward, they're gonna run right past the Hivers and humiliate them. Green lasers. What is, am I actually playing the other team and I haven't disclosed it? What is this shit? Yeah, see, now the Hyper ships, which are unusually massive for their size, have to struggle to change their momentum while the humans just sort of cackle and they kill the gate, like, instant fucking painlessly. And the Hyvers really can't do anything about it. Man, they have, like, double-mounted green lasers. This really is me. They're not even using missiles. What the fuck? Actually, what the fuck? Where's the command ship? Hard mode AI, huh? Don't know about that one, Chief. Where is... There you go. That's a... That looks like a war cruiser. Not a war It looks like an armor. It's got some guns on it. They're targeting... That pulse vision, the little wiggly thing on the side. Where is your command? The enemy brought a command ship. Pretty evident from the way they swarm, even though they do not have an outnumbering bonus. And outnumbering bonuses aren't really bad. Yeah, I should have simmed this for the sake of my buddies. Whatever. That just means there'll be more from us when we finally get over there. God, that's cool. The only reason this wasn't more brutal is that the enemy appears to be using more green lasers. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. Literally, humanity is kicking up. Storm over there. 
system update. Form up, guys. Jesus. I don't want the soul to have that world. Not that I have much say over there. Fuck, that's Um, they killed the planet. Which means they won't be getting a gate unless they packed a reserve gate. I don't know how often the AI does that. They're stranded over there. Those ships are just stranded. Even if they win. That's suboptimal. We have settled a new world, Vakona. Uh, in totally unrelated news, uh, we're taking that colony. Thanks, guys. I'm going to leave this cruiser here so that it can sort of just guard, because, well, we got ships coming. No, fuck it. Get to the front. As you wish, Varkona. And these two, really, our front line is two systems. If they try to run past, we will see it real easy. Departing now, Varkona. They'll get there eventually. Hang on, wait. Do you need to... We embark. Don't need them for them. Okay. I want a contingent of four guard ships for Kistans. Or K-Sultan. Kisathrum. Amarillo, Texas. I'm an American. We don't care what your foreign devil tongues call it. We'll call it <laughs> Bolivar. That's an that's one that only my most hardcore fan base. All two of you. Yeah, you Jerry. Would actually know. Cruiser command ship. We just need the SpongeBob uh the Squidward Future Future Okay. Sort by... That's not what we need. Sort by... Design. There we go. Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. It was I who allowed the Alliance to know the location of the shield generator. I'm sounding a little Palpatine these days. Kill them. Kill them now. I'm thinking we need some more assault shuttles, guys. I'll pencil that in somewhere. You guys aren't doing anything else. Give me some assault shuttles, as you please. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. I like this little dialogue we got going on, Sword of the Stars. I have been tricked by this very thing, the, the gate thing. It doesn't really surprise me that the AI fell victim to it. Problem is, if they don't have a command ship, well, they don't have a colony and they don't have... Um... Any means to make a colony or a gate here. They're gonna have to slow boat. System I'm gonna give them the auto-resolve on this one and... The mystery look has at been that. solved, Dokona. Fucking look at the difference between what was actually happening there it's like i basically stranded those guys by not letting them auto resolve but then if you let yourself get guilty over stuff like that it'll never end like like i said we cannot worry about hyper business if only i could build a gate but i can't the armada moves as one What's the speed on that? Five turns. Okay, so we launch. Cartographer, chart the path. We launch when they get to five turns. Or I fucking may just not bother with that. I'm thinking once we get the repair and salvager up, uh, that'll be it. I could use some more colony ships. There's lots of things I could use. I could actually employ commerce rating with any degree of success. Totally, I could. 
We have been given the necessary sum, Varkona. Uh, let's try it. I mean, we're probably going to be messing with the humans a bit, so... That might be a good use for our sort of leftover ships that aren't good enough to actually fight. Like all these destroyers. I'm thinking that's Our colonists point. have landed, Varkona. Hey, we got some assault shuttles back here, too. Because I ordered them. Well, real bright one. We embark as ordered. We get kind of a chain thing going on. Even though we're supposed to not. Give me a couple more. These things are very handy to have. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. I'm basically just barreling towards. In fact, it's time for freighters. It looks weird, but it's. They try to make like alien y versions of a freighter, and sometimes it's just like. It just looks goofy and bad. It's just how it be. But I'm out some sniper cannons on it, so if something comes at it, they can at least deliver a little bit of a punch back. Inflict a little bit of damage. That's about all we can do. This design will be saved for future reference, Vakona. Good. Now let's see about our trade sectors. Oh, they're garbage. What we need is to research the uh, Hiver language so we can get some trade routes set up with them. Especially because we got colonies that kind of intermingle and our territory is basically contiguous. That'll be good shit. Please make with the freighters now. Everybody making freighters. That's how it be. Oh. Metaluna. You're really that bad? It takes you that much? Get good, guys. What is this? Uh, it doesn't matter all that much. It really doesn't. You know, that's kind of weird. Let's see the trade sector view. What's going on here? I was expecting a lot more. Okay, this is sector 9. Just... Hang on, what? Can I ask why my own homeworld is not in the secured zone? Can I additionally ask why Kasogoth is not... Does it have something to do with engine range? If you can't make it in, in a jump without tankers, can you not make it at all? That shouldn't be a problem. We have... But is that it? Is that the actual thing going on right now? I'll tell you what, with the humans, it's simple. If you're on the no lines, you're golden, fam. Some of the freighter things make me go, well, then how do you do that if they, like, go into, like, like freighter space? But don't ask those questions. Stop asking perfectly logical questions. Just do what I say. Uh, I'm already starting to think this is a waste of five turns, especially right now. That one's simple. That one's annoying. System update. That's proof they're trading. What did you guys just? The Armada moves as one. I fucking set something as a target, like a fleet. It's easy to do that when you're not paying attention, especially when you're the human. Well, when you do as the humans, it's really ridiculous because they go off the node lines. And they think that's what you wanted them to do. It's like, I didn't call for that. That's not accurate. That's a lot of ships. I mean, I can fucking kill them. And uh, we will be doing that. That's annoying. There were some civilians there. There's infrastructure. Those ships are just trapped. I mean, honest to God, they fucking might as well just slow boat back to the gate network. Let's say 5.7 is... The you do some math. Hybrids move at 0.5 for fission. 
Maybe point six if they've got their pulse division, they've got all their root upgrades. So that's yeah. No one's no one ate dinner that night. Cartographer, chart the path. One armor cruiser will stay behind just to chill. Because the von Neumanns, they like they like harassing me. They hate as me specifically, wish, as far as I can tell. More gates coming in. Good. It would be nice if you were sort of automatically added to the trade network if you were if you had a gate at the planet like you could just open the whole Hiver network. But then I don't know. The Hivers are probably at the point where there's like we're not letting you use our gates ever. We're not that good of friends and we never will be. That's that's perfectly legitimate to be honest. TBH yeah, this divergence to commerce rating is almost certainly pointless. Uh, boy, you just hopped into a bullet. System update. All right. We are getting trade. We just have to make sure to set the planets to actually trade. Okay, situation update. You guys are on trading duty. I'll take you off trading duty if I ever find anything else for you to do. Cow Sathen. Okay, we just established these ones. This must be... This has got to be the home world. Yeah. Yeah, 200 infrastructure. Well, let's get on that, guys. Yeah? Build? Do it. They really want that. They really want that. System update. Yeah, that auto resolve is just. Just isn't gonna happen. And they have it! Well, we're gonna be working on that. The Zul can't have too many things because they're gonna be settled out by the humans. Much like I did to our friends in the very first LP of this. We have sold oh, a new world of our corner. Good infrastructure, good climate. This is going to be a good planet soon. Like, like with quickness. I might leave the Mark Threes at home just to defend this place. Otherwise, let's see here. Yeah, we're good. And we can fix the last little bit of that on the way. Repair operations begin. Good. It'd be smart to get a second one, but uh, no one has ever accused me of that. Do we need a full line of cruisers at this point? I mean, I'm thinking they'll be real nice to have. It'll really just be missiles. That's really what it comes down to. Nothing else will do anything to us. So it's like, we're going to wait one... Oh, that's two turns. It's like... The longer we wait, the stronger they get. And the whole thing of a push is to push. So we're gonna dispatch... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna leave some of the Mark Threes to guard. Put those back. armor cruiser line and we'll back up the rest with a little bit of point defense and I would like more point defense maybe 
Getting things there would be a slow process. We have point defense batteries on our ships. We should be able to manage this. And the Mark 6s. I should do it the other way. Here. There you go. Yeah, I mean, we got parent salvage, we got refinery. A lot of spare squadron CNCs, because I always end up with that. A lot of spare tankers. Enough to where we can pretty much run all the way back if we need to. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. Do it. Otherwise, the Armada moves as one. There, go Colton to the coal train. Other tanker, I'll just keep you there in case you ever become useful. Distant hope. Three, four, five. I'll leave. Oh, this will be fine. Because this point defense still have a strafe core cartographer mass Charge drivers, the path. so they should be. Good. I don't know why I built the point defense there. Cause, eh, those might be useful in the future. In fact, I'm rather certain they will be. That's our freighter reports. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna leave off on that one just for the just for a little more savings in the bank. Those are good. It's getting going. I need a couple turns to get going on them trade. But yeah, let's do it, guys. Let's get in there. I could use some more point defense. I'm going without adequate point defense, which will suck. But we got ships in reserve. I just like to keep the pressure up and isolate System their home world. Update. The mystery I, has been solved, Valcona. I think it'll be fun to do that. Okay. And we're spending quite a lot on... Now, the commerce rating won't be really handy immediately. I don't think the Zul conduct trade. They just sort of mind fuck you. Okay, is there anything else that would prevent? Okay, yes. We need warheads. Our laboratory is fully equipped and operational. Should be. We can at least get shaped. We'll have reinforcements coming, including more cruisers. And yeah, you know what? Fuck them. Uh, but if they come back, it would sure be nice to get these assault shuttles somewhere where they can fucking do something eventually. We got nine turns here. We got eight turns. Let's. Wait one, and then we'll send a contingent over there, and we'll divert some guards over there. We will move at full speed. What a tangled web we weave sometimes, everyone. I need to be covering these planets in case the Von Neumanns... Wow, that's a colony. That's a human person. Ah, uh, cruiser. It's uh not gonna work. System update. Just told you line, guys. Help is coming. Oh god. The humans can be there easily by that time. That's what happens when you fight a speed demon. The demon is fast. Because it's a speed demon. Our path is clear. Engaging warp engines. I don't know if that'll do anyone any good. The armada That's moves all. as one. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna. We're 
We're gonna reinforce with something more substantive. What? Oh, we just made this one. 160 years to build a strike force command control center. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. As you wish, Varcona. Okay, now is the time to launch second wave in case. Just do this sort of creeping advance across the map and we don't let them have anything. Which is essentially the plan. Okay, the Mark IV stay behind. I think they might have armor. They might be too young for that. I'm going to put a small guard fleet contingent here. Does anyone else have CNC at all? That might be the only CNC. I mean, if I was smart, I'd be building more. And these guys can build more if necessary. The tankers are doing nothing for me sitting here. So, yeah. Departing now, Varcona. Next wave coming in. We'll have cruisers ready by that time and a cruiser command ship, I think. Probably not. They're probably not going to be ready in time. How about you guys? Nope. It's fine. There we go. Foreign trade as well. Very nice. Already get training come. Now this can generate raiders which can damage your home world and bring it below 200 infrastructure and it never rebuilds. Having had that happen several times, I can say, uh, no fun. All right, and I'm thinking that's a decent time to close it out. Next time on Let's Play Sword of the Stars, we are gonna kill these guys. I don't think we're gonna kill them. Maybe pass another turn or two, just sort of creep closer. System updates. We got there. The mystery has been solved, Valcona. I mean, okay, yeah, they got ships. They got ships there. We got nearly half as much, but we got cruisers. Gamma Warhead, huh? That doesn't sound bad. Sounds like a decent idea. Won't be in time for the first wave. Well, we have been given the necessary sum, Varcona. But it will be in time for the next wave. Yeah, just a little something to boost us up. Definitely not something I'd auto resolve. If you have the disadvantage, it seems like auto resolving is almost always a fucking horrible idea. Because it just plays the odds. Yeah, I'm gonna give it one more turn to just sort of work itself out. System update. The Armada moves as one. Yeah, it's gonna be too late for this wave. Just move it up. I mean, at this point, like, more ships. It's, it's whatever, right? That's one thing about our alliance. Quick offensives ain't happening. Just hold out, guys. Brutal. Just stick them into a corner, get them stuck, and then... But, uh, we're gonna be getting them, too. There'll be a lot of getting. 